Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a full width image gallery with the Divi Gallery module. So this is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is to create a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here to pages, click on add new. We're gonna give a page a name, so we can call this whatever we want. So I'm just gonna call this Gallery Mac, use Divi Builder. Now we have uh, three options here that we can use. We can either clone an existing page, choose a pre-made layout or build from scratch. Now the technique I'm gonna show you here can work on any of these. But in this case, we're going to start from scratch. So I'm gonna click here on start building. Next, we're going to need a single column. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And in that column, we're going to need a gallery module. So I'm gonna search for it, type in a few letters and here we go, I'm gonna select it. Right, so by default, you get these four images that um, show you pretty much what it's gonna look like. So we want to add our own images. So to do that, you wanna click this plus button here. And then you want to go ahead and choose the images that you want to add to your gallery. Now, here's uh, something that you may need to know here. For your gallery to look really nice, you need to make sure that the image sizes are all the same throughout all your images that you're going to use. So in this case, I'm using images from our pre-made layout. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my 12 images. And then click on select. So again, by default, we get this preview of these four images. So if you want, to, if you want your 12 images to show, you wanna come over here where it says images number and then set it to 12. And now you can see all your images are showing and also, they all look the same. I mean, the sizes are the same, so which is great. So the next thing you wanna do now is to remove the um, title of these images. So to do that, you wanna come over here to Elements, Show, Title and Caption. We're gonna say no to that. And also we're going to move, remove this pagination. Great. So we have a gallery here, but it's not full width yet. So in order for us to make it full width, we need to save here and then go into the row settings. So I'm gonna click here on row settings, click on design sizing. So there's two things that we need to do here. We need to first make sure that our width is set to 100%. So I'm gonna drag this all the way to 100%. And then over here, our max width is set at uh, 1080 pixels. So again, this needs to be set to 100%. Okay, so now this is full width. So let me save this so I can show you what this looks like. So as you can see here, our gallery is edge to edge, it's full width. So basically this is how you do it. So what I'm gonna do now is to spend a bit of time and show you how you can further customize this and uh, make it look slightly better. So as you can see here, when we take a look at our gallery on the right side here, it's edge to edge. We don't have enough spacing here. So uh, it may be a good idea to add some padding so that the gallery looks quite neat. So I'm gonna click here on row settings again, click on design, sizing. So here to control the space between these images, it's controlled using the gutter width. So I'm gonna click here on, on yes. Currently it's set to three. So by reducing this, you're reducing the space. So as you can see here, we're down to two and the space looks quite neat. But if you wanna go all the way and remove uh, the spacing between the images, you can just go all the way to one. And as you can see, our gallery here now doesn't have any spaces between. So if I save this, you can see it's edge to edge. And if I mouse over here, you can see that these are still my individual images. Right, so let's go back in and I'll just do one design and uh, finalize that design. So I'm gonna come back over here to sizing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this to two. Okay, so we have a subtle, uh, space between all our images, but we can take this a step further and apply some space be, uh, at the edge of our, our full width there. So to do that, we wanna come over here to spacing. So on the left and right, you want to add a padding of 3%. Activate your change, so the size here could be applied to both sides. So now, as you can see, our gallery now has the spacing um, nice on both sides. Now let's say you want to go in and further adjust this on other screen sizes. All you have to do is to click here on this little icon, click on tablet. And as you can see here on tablet, the size is not, 
you know, very close to what we have here. So you can increase this to 5% on the tablet. And as you can see, this is looks this looks much, much better. So this is how you adjust how your gallery looks on different uh, screen sizes. Okay, so back over here to the desktop, what you may also want to do once you've done this is to add your overlay color and also change the icon. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna save this and then we're gonna go back into our module settings, click on design, overlay. So our zoom icon color, currently you can see here, um, it's set to this blue. We can set that to white. Next, we want to add our hover overlay color. Okay, so to do that, we want to click on this eyedropper tool and paste our color in here. Now, the color I'm using here can be, you know, any color, pretty much uh, a color that matches your, your branding. So now that I've added my color, all you have to do is to drag the slider down. Now this slider here brings in the transparency. So as you can see, when I mouse over this, it has this little transparency here and you can adjust it and you can take a look at the images in real time. Finally, you want to decide on an icon that you want to use here. So I want to go ahead and choose this one right here. And again, that, happen that happens instantly. So as you can see here, my icon, my icon now has been added. So pretty much that's all we need to do. I'm gonna go ahead and save this, save the page, and then we're gonna do a final preview. So now that, uh, that the page is saved, I'm gonna exit the Visual Builder. And then you can see here my overlay works. And when I click on this, now we have the image. We can scroll. And then we can close this. And now we're back to our gallery. So pretty much this is how you create a full width gallery. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.